What's going on guys? All right, I got the Walmart Savitis. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna explore here. Um, so right off the bat though, I will say that I'm not even gonna open these two because the Elementum, I mean, come on. This has been talked about to death, right? As well as the Praxis, I, I've had, this is the mini Praxis, but I think I might even have a video on this knife already as well. And I had multiple on different Elementums. The Elementum is just, it's an awesome model. And there's so many different things I did with it, you know, going to the uh, button lock. And of course, this is the original liner lock version, different um, steels, different colors, all kinds of stuff. So very, very cool one to build on. But there's also two other ones as well. All right. Now, it also is going to depend on, you know, what Walmart, what your, like your location, what's available to you. There's more Civivis than this. This is just what was available at my local Walmart. Um, so this one is the uh, Quibit. This one specifically is uh, the blue aluminum handle and the satin 14C20 and blade. And then we have here the um, uh, Burgundy G10 Brazen. All right. Now, I did do a video on the Brazen before as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at these real quick. And, of course, down in the comments section, why don't you guys tell me which ones, which of the Sadidis they have at your Walmart. Always going to depend on your location and everything. These are fantastic knives. They all are. Every version of them as well. I dig them. All right. So that really deep, rich burgundy coloration. We got the Tanto black blade on this as well. All right. Very simple, very sterile design here. Like the little uh, spacer on the back, you know, integrated the lanyard loop, lanyard hole, if you want. All right. Liner lock, ambidextrous thumb studs. No blade play in any direction. Just a cool knife. I mean, I really do dig the burgundy color. I think this is really nice. Black clip, of course, black hardware to match. Good ergonomics. A little one finger choil here. All right, very, very simple. Just light curve. Nothing crazy going on here. The deep concealed clip hides in your hand very nicely. At least feels comfortable in mine. There's no hot spots or anything. You can hold a reverse clip if you want to stab into things for no reason. <laughs> you can certainly do that as well. All right. Check out the other one real quick. Now, I did a video on this one. I forget. It might even actually be the blue coloration as well. But super, super smooth, rounded blue uh, aluminum. Uh, I've been carrying the, um, uh, what is it, the razor knife. And that has basically a very, very similar handle. So, I mean, this seems extra familiar. But button lock here, very nice. Of course, they have the bottle opener integrated into the back of the blade. That's actually a pretty cool thing. I mean, it's a waste of space. Otherwise, you're not using it, right? It's not going to hurt anything. Putting pressure there to open your, your beer bottles or bottles of uh, pop, if you will. Maybe you got the, you know, Mexican full sugar or real sugar Cokes or something like that. And you want to pop the top off. But handsome knife, for sure. Also, uh, ambidextrous thumb studs. Feels very good. Deep and sealed clip. Just, again, hiding in there. The... Uh, uh, burgundy knife the the brazen this one is super comfortable in the hand but this one's even more like the elementum is very comfortable to me always the mini praxis has the double um finger grips or, or sorry finger troils so that will depend a little bit more on your hand size if you have really small hands or really large hands those the middle hump and the second hump here the peaks you should say uh, they may fall in between fingers and not be as comfortable, but it's not, it's not going to be like ridiculous, but this is just extra comfortable because they have such a rounded spine and front, and because it is such a simple design. Having no finger choil to speak of makes it versatile for all hand sizes. All right, I do like the very small little kind of leaf-shaped blade, very Spyderco-esque to me, uh, even though it's not a Spyderco thing. Well, I mean, it is a Spyderco thing to do a leaf-shaped blade, but... It's not like they invented that blade shape or profile. It's just they use it so predominantly in so many different knives that that's what you think of, at least for me. But it works. It works very, very well. It's basically just a modified drop point. It's really good. And it has a very, very pointy tip as well, but it's fat enough to have stability, so it's not going to snap off easily. Uh, the button uh, lock is also very fun for, you know, the fidget factor. You can use it to open and close a knife. Uh, you can flick it open, you know, flick it shut with the button. Just very, very cool. You can, you know, close it slowly as well. And you can open it slowly, which, you know, we're knife people, so we don't really open a knife slowly. We flick them open, right? Or we miss flicking them open when you're filming a video. <laughs> so, anyway, very, very cool. I dig it. I, I'm digging the, 
the fact that they're available at Walmart, just because they're in more people's hands, you might watch the video and go like, oh, I order knives online all the time. But you have to realize not a lot of people do. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's definitely a lie. I shouldn't say not a lot of people do. There's more people who don't buy knives online that you might imagine. I talk to lots and lots of people every single day. And I've talked to plenty of people like, yeah, I don't really, you know, I don't order like knives online. They could have restrictions in where they live. They could, um, you know, have issues where, you know, maybe shipping issues. Um, it's really ridiculous. Uh, I've heard of people having problems like ordering on Amazon. If you want certain knives, you can't have shipped to like New York State or Massachusetts or I've heard all kinds of stories like, yeah, they just won't, they don't ship to me. I'm like, that sucks. You know, so now you're relying on just going to the store. There's not a whole lot of knife stores across the U.S. They're, they exist, but they're not enough places. There's just, they're rare compared to any other store possible, right? So having the availability of having a, you know, budget-friendly knife that's available at a store that's pretty much everywhere is very cool. So I'm all for it. I'm all for, uh, like, Civivi brand to me is better than most of what they have at Walmart to begin with. Yes, you can find like a nice buck knife. You can find a decent Kershaw, you know, a CRKT there that's, that's pretty decent. But this is like, you know, on the same playing field where you have a sub, let's say, $80 knife that's actually decent. You know what I'm saying? It's not total junk. So that price range of like, you know, 20, 25 bucks to about 60 bucks or so, that's your sweet spot for people who just are on a budget but want a decent knife. They don't want something that's going to go dull right away. They want like a decent design, a nice knife that's going to last, but they also don't want to spend $100, $200, $300 on a knife. You know, so I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for more knives at Walmart, right? People have all these political signs on their lawn this time of year, and uh, I just want to see one that says more knives at Walmart, but that doesn't exist. So, yeah, I mean, I love to see some higher-end stuff at Walmart. Right? They sell guns that are a couple hundred bucks. Why wouldn't they sell, you know, a couple Benchmades or a couple Spydercos? Like, even base model stuff that's, like, anywhere from 100 to $150. I would love to see that, too. There's definitely clientele for that. Just because it's Walmart doesn't mean it's cheap. That used to be a thing. It used to be like, hey, you want to buy cheap stuff? Go to Walmart. That's not a thing anymore. You know, when I was, like, when Walmart started, yeah, they had $3 t-shirts and, like, you know, $15 jeans. And you get cheap underwear and socks and food. and But no. Walmart is not necessarily the cheapest place for anything anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a graphic tee is like, what, eight bucks now or something? You know, you could pay $30 for a pair of jeans. You know, it's just why why not do that with knives? Why not have a variety? There's definitely people who regularly shop at Walmart that will spend $150 on a pocket knife. You know, it's just maybe across the board, they don't see that. I don't really know. I'm sure they do all kinds of studies and stuff like that. And, and especially, you know, geographically, where you put a store, the type of people, the income they make all around, you know, 50 miles, 100 miles from the store, all that stuff's looked at. It's not just like a big, like, question mark. Like, people study this stuff, right? But I'm just saying, you guys who are watching this video, you probably clicked on it, you're like, hey, I go to Walmart, let me see what they got. You go to Walmart, you know, you're willing to spend 50, 60 bucks on a knife for 40 to $60 range, you know, there's people who definitely would spend 100 bucks. But, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying I love to see more variety. Whether it's cheap or expensive, the more, the merrier. I wish it was a whole aisle of knives. But, you know, for the, the common person, they don't think about pocket knives as much as we do. We were hobbyists, and uh, so it's a little different to us. But anyway, it, the whole point here, to sum it all up, all my blabbering, is this is a good thing. It's a good thing to see more brands at Walmart. I'd love to see an all-American brand, too, thrive there. Again, it's going to be a little more expensive. Things just tend to be more expensive here in America to make. Um, maybe in the future. Who knows? Maybe it actually goes in the right direction. And we start seeing more main American stuff. I think Walmart should have an aisle, a full aisle dedicated to made in America products. I think that would do very, very well here in America. You let me know what you think about that. I know I'd go check it out. Hey, what do they got? What do they got in the USA mile? You know, or excuse me, USA aisle. Um, so yeah, if someone's watching from Walmart, it's got a little pull, make it happen. I know people would definitely go check it out and maybe buying stuff just because there's a lot of patriots here and a lot of people will buy something just because it's made in America. So anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.